people that have basic knowledge of superheroes, what they know is that the villains often are the ones that lose, right. which I feel like, again, is probably why a lot of people lean towards superheroes. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Because nobody wants to root for a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. That is something that I've never thought about before, is that maybe the only reason that people are idealizing good traits, moral traits, is because in our media they win. No, I don't think that – I don't think it goes that deep. Be, but I do – because <laughs> – but, 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 yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but, but I do think that. that's part of it. I think that's preconceived <laughs> as to why they root right, for the superhero. We well, the reason that I say it's preconceived is because you have a notion – most people, I would say, have a notion of good versus evil. Good should always win before they ever watch a superhero. Before, movie. well, that's the thing is that you're, the very first bedtime stories that you're told, right. it's someone who is doing the right thing comes out on right. top. Yeah. So you never really have the chance to explore the My first bedtime story my kids going to be an evil story. I'm going to raise a villain. Yeah, just show him... Uh, Show him terrible, uh, something terrible. The Lord of the Rings, right when he comes out of the womb and scar him. Or I'll just life. have him study Voldemort. Yeah, but anyways, this, this, is my point. this is my point. Harry Potter versus Voldemort. Voldemort's ten times fucking cooler than nerdy ass, goofy little Harry mm. Potter, who could have been ten times cooler in so many moments. If Voldemort literally fucking killed whoever and had, people were so scared of him, they couldn't even say his name. That's cool. That's so cool. It Everyone has always, can run around yeah. and say Harry Potter. He's got a little scar. Fucking people are like, oh my god, don't say that. Like that's cool as fuck. I think that's that so is cool. Bald, I bro. think that he had the entire world on lock. I think Voldemort. I think I would be a lot more team Voldemort if he wasn't like, you know, like a ball sack with a cloak. Like if he had a nose. But that's but that's almost to Noah's point though. It's like this guy does look like a fucking idiot, but he's yeah. so badass that even though he looks like yeah, that, but the are reason, still so but, afraid but of him. I don't think Voldemort's cool because like he's got no drip. Like imagine and Harry Potter doesn't. Yeah, no, Harry but, Potter was but a imagine, if, yeah, imagine dude, Hermione's but, cooler than Harry Potter, bro. Imagine if Voldemort was as badass as he was, and he was like a sharp-looking dude who always wore like a sick all-black three-piece suit instead. That would just enhance mm. his coolness. He's already cool. Yes, but no, he's not to me. He's not cool. He doesn't look cool. Let me let me hear your take on what I just said. Well, the Who's look cooler? of the look of, like his fingers and his hands and his nails. Get him some fucking nail You're not clippers. Fucking but that all, it doesn't matter what he looks like. No, but all, it does. That's uh, not cool. That all plays again into the Lack morality of, of it. Lack of taking care of yourself is not cool. <laughs> <laughs>